the Irish Song and Recitation Festival, home of song, story, and poetical proverb. You are at the Irish Roots Cafe, and I am Mick the Bridge, your host. This is one of three broadcast series here at the cafe. The other two cover Irish family history worldwide and the history of the Irish in America. So step right up to the microphone, folks. Consider calling in at 816-256-3360. Then you just speak, sing, or play your piece proudly into my phone recorder. If it fits, we will place it on the air in a future show. But remember, it's all for free and it's all for fun, and tens of thousands of our listeners are looking forward to each show. And why is that? Because every day's a holiday at the Irish Roots Cafe. <laughs> Reach me anytime and be sure to read my show notes for this episode on my webpage at www.irishroots.com. Now let's move into the big back room here at the cafe and have a listen to what's being served up today. Well, here comes Peter now. I tell you what, I'm sure you all know that you're at the Irish Roots Cafe today, and uh, that's where every day's a holiday, and Peter Adams just finished singing that last special song that I requested. That was number two out of ten, Danny Boy, and you can hear the folks out there now. We're lucky to get him back into the room, but he promised me he'd give me the these ten songs, at least for this year, and we'll wait wait till next year for a little bit more, perhaps. And Peter, come on down. Now, take a breath. They, they made you sing another song, too, ah, didn't they? they did. Boy, that's a rough crowd in there, oh, a rough crowd. I'm telling you, they won't let you go for nothing. No, they won't. It's the truth. It's the truth. But I enjoy it, you know. Well, and sure, so do yes. they. And I tell you, it crosses a generation. That's one of my mom. Yeah. My mom, uh, it gets to her. It gets to everybody I know. It does. Even yeah. if they say, ah, oh, it's only Danny Boy. Once they start oh, playing it, yeah, you see the, the little tear in the corner. Ah, the tear in the I corner. I don't think right. I've ever sung that, and I mean in various venues in many places in the United States and in Ireland, and I sang it in England. <laughs> England? And I sang it in Wales. England? And what? what I, yeah. did, I don't even know about those stories. Tell me about oh, England. Yeah. I, well, I was in England for four days and in Wales for two. Uh, and, of course, uh, I would go to where the Irish might be hanging out, and so uh, all of a sudden I had to sing. My, uh, the, one of the things I loved uh, in singing uh, Danny Boy in Wales, I was sitting listening to a choir. And uh, we stayed in this hotel, and staying in this uh, in the hotel, and I went downstairs to the pub, and the gal says, "Oh, you're here on a great night." I said, "Why? What's going on?" She says, "Our local choir is practicing here tonight, and Welsh choirs have a worldwide reputation of being magnificent." Mm -hmm. And there was about forty men, in various voices, uh, tenor, first and second tenor, baritones and basses, and they all sat with their arms folded singing song after song after song, and a fellow was playing the organ for the background. And at, we got to one song, and, you know, they invited people to sing along with them, and so we did. And one guy's sitting next to me, and he, he's looking at me while I'm singing yeah. along, and he, we, they finish the song, and he goes, get this guy up there. Ah, they spotted so they, you. They pulled me up, and I said, well, let's do Danny Boy. And so I sang Danny Boy for that. Then they didn't want me to leave. They were uh, having such a good time. I wanted to listen to them, and they wanted to listen yes, to me, which was a great yes, thing. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I tell you, that sounds like it would be good. That's, that's one of the neatest things. You go over there, and somebody starts just stands up and sings out of nowhere. And uh, Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I, that's just a beautiful part of life over well, there. Well, you know, you were talking about in, in the other room here that some of them are doing some recitations while we're speaking. In Ireland, when someone, not everybody sings in Ireland, though, 
Everybody tries. Right. I will say that. Right. But a lot of people, they'll say poetry. They'll recite poetry. That's right. And, and you know, others, uh, prose and things. And it's marvelous. It's entertainment. That's right. It's the natural form of entertainment that people give of themselves well, for this whole that's thing. That's right. You sit down at a table and there's not much going on. You just don't talk the bull. You say everybody gives their one little recitation. That's By the right. end of the night, everybody's given their special little piece, be it a story or a song Absolutely. or a poem. You know? It's like if, if you've seen the, the movie uh, Michael Collins. Right. And uh, um, the, the actress, uh, she sings a song. Uh, and they'll say, say, well, it's her. She, she is able to choose the next person who's to get up and do something. Right. And so they choose Michael Collins to get up, and he gets up and he starts reciting, you know, uh, and that's all the reason, oh, I left old Skibbereen. Yeah. But he recites, he says, 24 more verses now. But he was <laughs> reciting the first part because he didn't have the, as he said, to sing. So he'd just sing the last line so everybody knew. And then everybody joined in. That's with right. It, you know, and it's that sharing. I've had that experience where people would share their talents. Yeah. I, that happened to me in Sligo, where there was about 15 young guys, I would say about 16 to 18 years old. They're all sitting in the pub in Sligo. Right. Uh, we were in, uh, yeah, we were in Letterkenny. Okay. And uh, we had been down there... Uh, uh, during the day and met the lady who ran it and it was her grandfather's and this lady was 75 years old but her grandfather started this pub yeah. imagine how long it had been there and she went up there we wanted to bring her some gifts that we had brought from america to give and so she uh, comes down again and she says oh she made the entire pub be quiet so i could sing another song because oh. i had sung for her earlier in the day and she then had the boys each one of them do something to thank me yeah. and we had from a song to a poem to a story and it, it's the most enjoyable thing in the way and you talk about that's when you discover the real ireland that's why you know, that's the that's whole that's right when i stayed uh, the first time i was in ireland i stayed with the o'loughlin's uh uh distant relative i would imagine in county Clare. what they each of the kids came out and they had their little thing that they did and it shared something with them. It also gave them a lot of confidence. Imagine talking sure. to all these people just plopping into a bed and breakfast and performing for them. They were excellent. One played a song. You know, one sat down on the piano. Yes. yes. Uh, oh, it's lovely. Very special. Very special. And I've thing. seen them do dancing for you, too. That's right. Learn the step dancing. Yeah. That's now, right. Now, of course, I had to, uh, I played it one other way here with the Danny boy. I was in Ireland, and I'm in a pub. Too many pubs in my stories. But there's too many pubs in Ireland, I suppose. But anyway, I'm standing there with a couple of boys who I know in this little town of Beaufort. And you know about Beaufort. Oh, right. <clears throat> I'm standing there with a couple of boys, and we're talking about different things. And here comes the owner, uh, Con. He's all worried because there's a busload coming in. Oh, uh, and I said, where are they from? And he says, oh, he says, they're Americans, Americans. So he didn't know where, you know. And here they come, and there's like 50 of them. And you know how slow it is to pour a Guinness? Oh, that's right. So, and he's only the owner and has one other person helping behind the bar. And he's trying, and you know how patient Americans are oh. when it comes. And they're online. Yes. And they're talking and carrying on, and you can see they're all looking to try to get up. What is he done yet? Is he what has he got ready? What I need? What I need? And so one of the guys with me, he says to me, Peter, he says, sing him a song, quiet him down. So I burst into Danny Boy. Well, as we were saying before, how the Americans, everybody recognizes this tune. Here you're in Ireland, and you get to hear Danny Boy. Oh my God, I'm excited now. Uh. So I sing Danny Boy. The whole place went quiet, and it, so then they calmed down. And then they didn't notice that it took longer for their drink because they got the entertainment in yeah, it. Yeah, that's so right. So then it went on, and then they started talking again, and they're taking my picture. And then <laughs> my friend says to me, Peter, he says, sing another one. They need another. So I sang another one. Then while I'm singing, they come over to get my picture. And then after I finish that song, they come behind me to get their picture with me. Yeah, they they think, want to be in yeah, the picture. You're a local star. I was a local star. And, and so then they all go inside, and Khan's thanking me for doing that, keeping him down. And so here a couple of boys come back out. They're from Texas. Hey. And they want to know, well, oh, you guys locals here? And, and uh, uh, my friend Jerry says, yeah, oh, yeah, I live across the road here. And another guy says, how you locals? Oh, yeah. And while I, after I sang the song, I said to them, so glad you're here in Ireland. Welcome to Beaufort. We're happy to have you here. <laughs> And so they all, of course, assumed <laughs> that I was uh, from Ireland. Oh, they'll be talking about that old Irish guy singing forever. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and then I, I was in Blarney the next day, and I'm sitting in the cafeteria, and I'm having a cup of tea and a sandwich, 
and I hear, oh, look, there's that Irish tenor from Beaufort. <laughs> and I went, hello, folks, how are you, how are you? Ah, oh, it's a great thing. And my Irish friend said, ah, Peter, we sure put one over on the Yanks. <laughs> ah, we did, we did. Well, you know, Beaufort, that's in County Kerry, isn't it? It is in County Kerry. Now, let me see. I, you know, my my mother's family, the Donahue's, come from Kerry. They're out there uh, by Glen Flask in that castle. Sure. You know? And Ross yeah. Castle is the castle there in Kerry. Oh, that's the one everybody knows and remembers. I have a yeah. oil painting of that. Oh, that's a that's good beautiful. one. Yeah. Beautiful. They've done a lot of work on it, too. Yes, they, they have. Yes, they, I was there. Uh, when was I there? I've been there so many times. I've taken the boat around the lakes there and through the castle. Right. One time you couldn't even get in. That's uh, right. Two, three years ago, I couldn't get in the castle. And this past year, yes, we could get in. So that's and they've right. done nice work. Their restoration projects are all over Ireland doing wonderful things. Yeah, that's, that was a lot of work, but they sure explained it, too. There was a nice little tour. And uh, it's nice to see it see it back in 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 uh, operation. And that was the big Donahue Castle, and the my my clan was just the little. Donahue and there's Castle. another one in McCroom yeah. that had a lot of O'Donohues in it. Yeah. Or, yeah. Uh, you know, the, on your mother's side that year, there's right, a lot of them right. there. The names are all on the stones as you go into that. Uh, yeah. Into that. But that's on the Cork side. But just in McCroom, and you're ten miles from Kerry. Well, and anciently the and, Donahues moved up from Cork into Kerry and uh, took over go, sure. un under the patronage of the McCarthy. Ah, yes, sure. Which, which they were friendly with sometimes and perhaps a little rivalry and McCarthy with. McCarthy was, yeah. he was a Blarney man, wasn't he? Uh, what, Isn't uh, that McCarthy? Son of, some of them, or uh, Blarney. Yeah, oh, Blarney, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah McCarthy. Blarney, yeah. Matter of fact, the big McCarthy lord was one that uh, the queen said, That's right. Oh, sure, you're giving me all the Blarney, like like McCarthy does. That's right. And it was yeah. born out of McCarthy's own mouth. That's right. Uh, Blarney, Blarney, Blarney. All I ever hear is Blarney. <laughs> well, let me see. Maybe I can stump you on this one. There's oh. a song. It's It almost <clears throat> sounds like a classical song, the way it's done. It's really different. It's Sometimes it's referred to as the Carrie Dancers or uh, Days of the Carrie Dancing. And uh, it was uh, actually written by James... Lenham Malloy in 1879, and uh, it, like I say, it's distinctive. And Malloy, he came from Offaly, but he, he ended up writing about those Kerry folks. They must be pretty impressive in Kerry. Well, and remember that the name, the real, the county, as they have different counties, have other names to them, and right. Kerry is known as the Kingdom. Yeah, the Kingdom of the Kerry. Kingdom. That's right. That's right. Uh, <laughs> from way back when. And as others people say, ah, those Kerry people are awful proud of what they have there. <laughs> That's right. Well, and this guy, Malloy, he wrote Bantry Bay, too. Oh, well, uh, that's Kerry. Which is good. And, uh, uh, gosh, I think it was his Love's Old Sweet Song. And, uh, boy, the Kerry Dancers, most people are going to remember that from uh, The Quiet Man. John Wayne, Marina O'Hara. Yes, yes. Oh, gosh. Well, I hate you asking me. You're saying, do you know this one? See, so you just stumped me. When I was in the fifth grade, we used to have to put plays on each class did a play. Right. There were so many kids in the school. We had a boys' school and a girls' school, grade school, and two classes of each for boys and two for girls, so four classes yeah. of all these kids. Yeah. And we'd have to put on these plays for Monsignor. Right. And he was Irish. And so for his birthday, we'd put on, and of course, we'd, I had to sing Danny Boy. Right. His name was Daniel. I had uh, to sing Danny Boy. Perfect. It was always good because he gave us the day off then. Oh, was grand. Oh, oh, you can all go now. <laughs> he oh, did. He did oh. variety to do that. But we had to sing the Kerry dances. Oh, So I remember God. that's a great old favorite of mine. I'll be doggone. And people don't do it anymore. No, they don't. No. I, I almost feel like, well, I'm going to ask for this, but nobody's going to know it. They won't, yeah. But it's, and, and for me, it, it's great because I vacation in Kerry. What? Yeah. Even though I tour around Ireland, right. when I stay, I stay in Kerry. I love Kerry. Yeah, beautiful. I beautiful. do too. It's a great place to stay. Oh, yeah. It's just uh, a lot to see, and it's close to a lot too. Sure. And in Kerry, when you sing a Kerry song, and you're an American, they love you even more. Oh, that's right. And if you notice, there is a certain way about the Kerry people. All these people, different areas have different characteristics, but oh, I the very way much the way so. they can talk and they can debate and. Debate in good spirit That's with right. each other over the dinner table. Sure. I grew up listening with that and my mother's uncles. And then I'm over there the first or second time and Carrie in a restaurant in the back room. And sure enough, a bunch of the local folks were there talking. And it seemed like they were debating in the very same style and tempo as my family did. And I uh -huh. thought... Good gosh. Where'd that come from, huh? Yeah, that's <laughs> and right. And you go, yeah. oh. <laughs> that's right. This has been handed down. 
Absolutely. You know, you talk about uh, bantering back and forth. I was in this uh, pub in, in Beaufort. Uh, it's a different one than where I was. There's only three in town. That's right. it. In the right. whole town, there's only three. Of course, the town isn't very big. I mean, that's the basis of town. <laughs> a grocery <laughs> store, three pubs, a gas pump, and the church. And well, then, somebody and then says, the, how big's your town? You say, oh, three pub. That's right. Yeah, yeah a three pub. That's not a bad size. Yeah. <laughs> it's close. And, and so one guy, he says, oh, you're that American. You're the one that's been singing. He says, I challenge you. Oh. I said, okay. Okay, song to song. I said, go for it. So he starts, I go back. He starts, I go back. Well, it went on for about a half hour. Right. Back and forth. And my memory, I'm searching my memory for words and lyrics and where I could cut off or not cut off, you know. Yeah. And they're cheering. And, and the following year when I went back, a gal who I met down there, uh, she says to me, Oh, Peter, remember that time you had the... What a great crack that was. We oh, had the best time. You're down in history. Oh, yeah. And, of course, crack means a good time or having, yeah. enjoying yourself like a party. That's but right. that was entertainment. Everybody was crazy about it. They yeah. loved it. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. Whole, you yeah. can't beat it. What was the fellow's name you were singing against? I have no clue. You can't remember. Don't know him. I didn't uh, know him. What song did you win with? Well, we'll save that uh, for later. Yeah, we'll save that for save later. Save that for later. But I... I uh, I didn't know the guy. He yeah. knew of me. See, actually, people know of me because I've been going to the same town for 14 years. Well, that's right. So they get to know you. Yeah. You know, in fact, they also look for me at the particular time of year. This, well, this is the time. And then one time I went back. I was there in March, and then I returned in June, and I went into this uh, Galvin's pub there, and I walked in, and the bartender, uh, she says, Liz McCarthy was her name, and she says, Hi, Peter. Peter, what are you doing here? Has it been that long? I said, no, I was just here in March. And another guy walks in. He goes, hello, Peter. Peter? <laughs> <laughs> what would you be like, doing here? What time of year is it? Would uh, they expect me? And they all remember you, which is, that makes it, it's like going home. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, and it, it, that's true in more ways than one. Sure, for sure. the generations even. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, now, Absolutely. for Father Danny and for the Donahues of Glenn Flesk, would you be singing on our behalf? Uh, days of the Carrie Dancer. It'd be a pleasure. Ah, thank you very much. Just set yourself right up over there. You know where to Same go. Same mic, then. That's it? Okay, great. All right, good. On the days of the Carrie dancing, now the ring of the piper's tune. Oh, for one of those hours of gladness, gone alas like our youth too soon. When the boys began to gather in the glen of a summer's night, and the Carrie piping tuning made us long with wild delight. Oh, to think of it, not oh, to dream of it. Fills my heart in tears. Oh, the days of the carry dancing, are oh, the ring of the piper's tune. Oh, for one of those hours of gladness, gone, alas, like our youth too soon. Was there ever a sweeter calling in the dance than Eily Moore? Or a prouder lad than Taddy as he boldly took the floor? Lads and lasses to your places up the middle and down again. Of a merry hearted laughter ringing through all the happy glen. Oh, to think of it, oh, to dream of it. Fills my heart with tears. Oh, the days of the carry dance and all the ring of the piper's tune. Oh, for one of those hours of gladness, gone alas, like our youth too soon. That's a wrapper for today, folks. I'm Mick the Bridge at the Irish Roots Cafe. You can contact me at mike at irishroots.com or send your submission or your notes to Box 7575, Kansas City, Missouri, 64116. Call up and leave me your message or your entry on my phone recording machine at 816-256-3360. 
Just do it today. And oh yes, any donation to keep this show going is appreciated. And remember, keep the best of your Irish heritage alive today. Today.